Today we're gonna be making the world's fluffiest pancake and it only takes three ingredients. Yes, you heard me right, I said three ingredients. Ingredient number one is ice cream. You could go with regular cheaper brand ice cream, but I'm going with higher quality stuff because this is what actually makes your pancake taste that much better. Into a bowl, we're gonna go in with two pints of ice cream. You can use any type of ice cream, chocolate ice cream, cookie and dough ice cream, but I'm going with vanilla because I guess I'm vanilla. Now with a hand mixer, we're gonna whip up our ice cream for about three minutes until it becomes nice, thick, frothy, beautiful, just like you. <laughs> it might be a little tough in the beginning, but just trust the process and keep going. Keep going! Maybe you could do slow-mo on this one, huh? Perfect, now let's move on to the next step. Now, into a separate bowl, we're gonna be adding in four cups of pancake mix. You can make your own pancake mix, but we're trying to make this process easy and simple, so I just bought a pre-mixed one. Sue me. And last but not least, ingredient number three is milk. To your pancake mix, we're gonna be adding in four cups of milk. You can use any type of milk that you want, oat milk, whole milk, or even almond milk. Now we're just gonna take our hand whisk and mix this together until fully incorporated. While you're mixing this, it's gonna feel thick, but don't worry, that's exactly what we want. Now we're gonna take our ice cream and just pour that into our pancake mix. And last step, we're gonna take our hand mixer and mix everything together until they become one big, cute little family. Now we wanna take an oven safe pot, make sure this is oven safe, lightly spray it with a non-stick spray. <laughs> now just take your beautiful pancake mix and pour that into the pot. One thing to keep in mind is don't overfill your pot. Go about three fourths full or even halfway because it's gonna rise even more in the oven. One important step is we wanna cover our pot with a lid. If you don't have a lid, you could use foil. Into a 375 degree oven, we wanna pop this in for about 45 minutes to an hour. My alarm just went off and the pancakes are ready. Ooh, that is beautifully baked. Now I'm just gonna let this cool down for about 10 to 15 minutes so it's a little easier to handle. I have a really, really simple way to take out the pancake from the pot. We're gonna take a plate, place that on top of your pot. Boom, hold it tight and then gently flip it over. Oh yeah, watch this, ready? Look at that fluff, baby. Oh, it smells. Ridiculous! Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could just throw syrup on this and call it a day, but we're gonna dress it up to look a little bit nicer. We just made the fluffiest pancake in the world and it's my favorite part, the taste test. That's insane. <laughs> oh my goodness. Should I just take a bite like this? Don't eat it like this, cut them up into slices, serve it to your family properly, but I'm gonna take a bite like this. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> this just makes me so happy. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good pancake, let alone a thick pancake? Make this for your friends and family, impress them. I'll see you guys in the next one.